everyone. So um, it is, what time is it? 6 a.m.? No, Nearly 7 a.m. We're just getting back. We um, went for a few drinks on Oxford Circus last night. Absolutely um, <laughs> rattled, no, I'm kidding. And now it's 7 a.m. and we are not being back since last night. So I don't, we left the light on in the house. So we're done, basically. We went for a few drinks on Oxford Circus with Olivia and Flosse. Hollywood Fix, Flosse, what are you working on right now? Flosse, how's the beef with Addison? Flosse, what have you been working on right now? Flosse, Flosse. Hollywood Fix, tell us what you're working on right now. <laughs> what, Flosse, what are you working on? Are you on skinny dip? Flosse. And now it is the next day, it's now 7am and as you can see the sun is up, we've just got off the tube, we're nearly home and it's 7am and also to top it all off Are you a true trooper like me? Because I'm a true trooper Jake Mitchell's coming to our house today <laughs> We have a videographer coming to the house today It sounds weird not saying tomorrow but it's actually today To come and film the house because they're remarketing so that's amazing. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know we've been a wild night out. We actually watched the sunrise, which you'll have already seen. We watched the sunrise on London Bridge, and it was really, really beautiful. And now I don't know if to just stay awake. I am slightly drunk. I don't know if to just get a coffee, get my breakfast, and just stay awake. Josh I says I'm absolutely ridiculous. I could, but I Josh, I need to. what do you think of me for saying stay awake? <laughs> Come on, give the vlog your opinion. What do you think of me? What do you think of me for staying away? I'm done, I'm done. Josh said, you are absolutely ridiculous. So... I can't stop licking my lips because of how dry my mouth is because I fell asleep on the tube and now I need water so bad. I'm going like this, I'm like... My mouth tastes like sick, so I don't even want to know what my breast smells like. Oh, um, that's not very nice. So, yeah. Why did you throw up? I didn't, but my mouth just tastes vile. Smile, girls. I want lots of clothes and fuck This is the most diamonds. reckless thing we've ever done. This is the longest <laughs> I've been. Do you know what? This I'm is the longest I've been away. Yeah, the three years we've been at uni, this no, is the longest I've been away. Our hand in first year. Don't oh. think we did. Well, that's not alcohol. Bye. I want to die. Also, look how cool this t shirt is. Super fun. Has said they wouldn't let me to the bar in this jumper that they did. And we got a free drink. Ha 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 ha. Boo. Hi, Bryn. <laughs> hey. Why did you do that? I thought you were a rando. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's now the next day. I am literally up bright and early this morning. It's literally just gone 10 o'clock. And it's not really that early, but I wouldn't normally be out by this time. I still look half asleep. However, today I'm actually going to get a tattoo. Now, I've been wanting to get this tattoo for months and months and months. It was planned, it was booked, all that stuff. But then COVID happened, and obviously all the tattoo places closed. And now they're open again. I have booked in. I booked him with a guy called Oscar, actually. I've never had a tattoo done by him before. However, I think I found his Instagram because Marcus Butler had his tattoo done with him. I'm pretty sure that's how I found his Instagram. Anyway, either way, the guy is really, really cool. I'll pop his Instagram on screen now. He's called Oscar and his work is incredible. So I'm getting a tattoo that I've wanted for a really long time. And yes, I spoke about it in many videos and today's the day that I'm getting it done. I'm half asleep still, but we move. I'm also out of breath. Hi everyone. Um, ugh. oh my gosh, the lightning in here just ain't it. But I um, basically went and had my tattoo done and honestly, I am so unbelievably impressed with the work I've had done. I said the work, well it is kind of his artwork, but he is incredible. Oh, you can see it on my arm, I'm gonna show you in a second. However, the guy that did it, obviously I posted it on my Instagram and I got a couple messages like, oh my God, did you get this for free? And like, just I posted stories and tagged him. So I'm gonna say it in the vlog as well because I'm gonna put his art on screen. He is so fucking incredible. Like his work, I knew his work were incredible anyway. I, like I said, so Marcus had his tattoo done. Done. So I followed him on Instagram for quite a while and I've always been like, oh my god, this guy is insane at what he does. So obviously I went and had my tattoo done today and I absolutely fucking love it. Like it's made me not dislike any of my other tattoos, but it's made me be like, oh my god, why did I not go to this guy from the start and have all my tattoos done by him? I'm definitely gonna book in again and get more tattoos. I was saying to him while I were in there, I literally now I've had this, just wanna get more. Like it's so addictive. I'm gonna show you in a second, but I didn't film anything in there because I literally just laid on the bench chatting to him the entire time. I filmed obviously me in the mirror, which have seen but then I literally just laid on the tattoo bed and just chatted so Oscar if you're watching this for whatever reason thank you so much honestly I love it it's bloody amazing I'm gonna show you as you can see I have 
two little butterflies on my arm. They don't really have any meaning, I just think they're really, really pretty. I know people often expect a tattoo to have a bunch of meanings and stuff, and like my other tattoos kind of do apart from the skull, but this one I just thought looks cool. I love butterflies in general. I think they're so fucking fun. I think it looks really, really groovy. And ever since Shawn Mendes actually got the butterfly tattoo, I was like, oh my god, butterfly tattoos just look really cool. And then Jaden Hustler did get the sign tattoo or Simna, and I was like, oh, nice, looks like I'm copying him. Also, speaking of butterflies, I have a really, really cool project and like probably the biggest project of my career so far coming out in September. I'm literally talking about all of this with a straight face, but I, when I say like I'm sweating so much, I'm literally in my underwear because I walked through the door and like chucked all my clothes off. I am so hot it's boiling outside so i'm not very enthusiastic because i'm hungry i'm sweaty so if my face just looks like this the entire time please know that i'm really excited i love the tattoo and also the announcement of the exciting thing that i was talking about i'm basically releasing something in like september time and the butterflies have a link to that i'm releasing my own butterflies guys it'll all make sense when it comes out so this does sort of signify that and it is like sort of involved with that a little bit but i also even if i weren't doing what i'm doing in september i would have still got the butterflies anyway so if you just want to pretend it means something there you are, there's your meaning. Take it, here, eat it up because it don't really mean anything. This is what it looks like. As you can see, I now have my skull, my mum's handwriting, the rose, and then the two little butterflies. So does it does it count as one, two, three, four, five tattoos, or would you class that as one tattoo? Either way, I'm literally obsessed. Again, big shout out to Oscar. Thank you so much. I honestly, his work's fucking incredible. Even if you don't want a tattoo, go follow him on Instagram, go show him some love because his work's insane. I'm now gonna go cook myself some food. I'm cooking pasta. And then I think we're gonna meet Josh in Camden later on. I just been speaking to my mum. We got sent so much through from this current landlord about what we need to do when we move out, like all the procedures and stuff. And honestly, I think landlords just putting it out there are massive cunts, and I think they're gonna try and take our deposit. So we paid eight hundred pounds each, and I think they're gonna try and take it. <laughs> Getting ready with my bedroom, the state it is right now is the most like jaw, jaw aching, ball aching thing I've ever ever done. Like look at this. It is a big mess. It is a big mess. All the stuff that I want to wear as well, I've realised I've packed away because I'm dumb. I thought I had left clothes out that I wanted to wear, but I think what happened is, because I went through my wardrobe and I saw clothes that I forgot I'd had, I'm now thinking of outfits to wear, like subconsciously thinking of outfits to wear that include those pieces. And obviously I've packed them all away, so I've just been rummaging through some boxes, but this is the outfit of choice for tonight. We're gonna go see Josh. This is the last time that we're gonna actually see Josh. Before we move out, obviously we'll still see him and stuff, but he'll have to come up to Manchester if we're in London. Then we'll meet up, but this is the outfit. Also just ignore the fact that I've rolled my sleeve up. I just put some moisturizer on my tattoo before we head out. So I got this Holly Davidson t-shirt on. This is not really like showing a good fit of the t-shirt because obviously one side's super rolled up, but I'm just letting my tattoo air so it doesn't like stick to my t-shirt. And I just have these trousers which really need ironing, but I can't be bothered from weekdays. They like carpenter trousers. I love trousers like this. And then I just have some black converse on. The mirror's like slanted like this, hanging off my wall because that box is full of toiletries and stuff that I need to go through then all this is just bullshit really my side's looking disgusting my floor's looking vile I'm not looking the best I'm looking a bit shabby shabby chic <laughs> Are you gonna cry, Joshua? Oh. Okay, not what I mean. No, right. Do that shot again. Do that shot again. Because you're not putting that. You're not putting that in your video. Three, two, one. Hey, hi, Josh. Last time, you're gonna cry. I'm putting both of them in. <laughs> do you wanna do it round three? <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, and post. <laughs> right, we've come into my comments and I really don't know what I've ordered. I just saw steak and we're like, alright, let's go for it. So. Very nice. So today we've been in Patties and because it is 50% off, I said today we are being happy because it's fifty percent off white mamas. We're actually getting to the Ha <laughs> <laughs>